first we're gonna talk about uh, Ken Shamrock, and you wrestled Ken Shamrock. I wrestled Ken Shamrock one time. Um, it was professional style. Uh, we wrestled in Winston Salem, North Carolina, nineteen ninety one. What organization was that? Uh, that was the uh, pro pro wrestling. Uh, Atlantic or something like that. I can't remember. It was a promotion that Johnny Weaver and um, uh, I can't think of the other promoter's name. They had started. It was a, a playoff of the Mid Atlantic. This is when um, Ted Turner had bought Mid Atlantic, so it was it was no no more of that. So um, we had a, a promotion of some good wrestlers. We had some uh, pretty good guys on there. Anyway, um, me and um, Ken Shamrock wrestled each other, and they always they bought in Tim Woods, who was an old shooter. Uh, his name was Mr. Wrestling. Uh, they bought him in to um, compare us. Me and Ken Shamrock compared to our amateur background. Anyway, uh, we wrestled a 30-minute uh, draw in what's the sale at the Coliseum. How was Ken on the mat as, as, as Ken a, was very good. Did you guys ever ever roll and uh, shoot? We didn't do no... Um, we didn't wrestle... Uh, Submission style against each other. Yeah, we just did some like folk style wrestling. Folk style against it. Yeah, yeah. And while we were um, doing this match. Yeah, yeah. And um, we actually went at it for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? See yeah. who could get what. And actually, he was pretty good. He was very good. He's strong. Very, yeah. He's in shape. Um, he's always been really cut up. Cut up. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, the guy was natural because the guy was like a health yeah. food nut. You yeah. Know? He really into but that. He's a yeah. super guy. Yep. Ken Chamber was a very, uh, he was a nice guy. Um, Seemed like I a real knew, gentleman. I knew, because I had I'd been wrestling a few years before him, and I knew yeah. when I was met him and got to know him that he was going to be something. Yeah. And this is before all this MMA Or stuff. UFCs. It wasn't even yeah. thought of. Now, now, when the UFCs came out, did you ever think of competing with that organization? Um, no, because I was still going back to Japan. And actually, um, Lou watched it and thought it was a bunch of bull crap. Yeah. Lou what? didn't. Lou wasn't very impressed. Now, now uh, Drew Price tells me this, and I got to be careful how I say this, because uh, this is all secondhand. But uh, th there's been some rumors that the um, Hoist Gracie Dan Severn uh, fight, and I should just say rumors that that fight might have been worked. I don't know. Yeah, I knew Dan Severn. Yeah. Hell of a guy. Um, hell of a wrestler. Uh, hell of a jiu-jitsu guy. Um, strong, naturally strong guy. Uh, yeah. Worked, worked out with him in Japan. Never wrestled him competitively. Only on the mat in the dojo. Yeah. Um, I can't say nothing bad about the guy. The guy was a hell of an athlete. Yeah. Yeah. They, big, yeah. big guy. Big natural strong. Severn. Guy. Oh yeah. yeah. The beast. Did you um, did you ever wrestle him professional wrestling? No, never wrestled him the professionally. Beast. The only um, time I was with him was in Japan. And Lou was close with Dan Severn. Um. Yeah, um, he was there. Uh, That's what Charlie Thez told me. I don't know. He was there with us in Japan. Yeah. Now, but, uh, now, yeah, now, Lou respected him, sure. Now, what about some of the, um, when, when, you, when you met with Lou Thez, uh, after you, was it after you came back from Japan that you began a, a school with uh, Lou Thez in the States? Um, well, after my first tour, we started the school. Lou asked me, he hired me actually to uh, be the coach of it. Um, yeah, he just kind of was it a school for them. amateur wrestlers or just professional wrestlers or both? It was both. Yeah, we had them all, and uh, we had a lot of guys. We had guys coming from Japan. We had one guy come over from Japan and stayed here nine months with us. We trained him. Um, the guy was a heck of an athlete, caught on quick, had good reflexes, strong. You remember his name? Uh, Yuki Watanabe. Okay. I ended up wrestling him over in Japan twice, beating twice. Um, he wrestled for small promotions over there, but never wanted to wrestle for the big names. Why? Yeah. I don't know. He had the he had the material. He could have done it. But anyway, uh, we had the youngest grand champion sumo wrestler with us for three months. We trained him, and I worked out with him seven days a week for three months. And I taught that guy how to wrestle on the mat. He weighed three hundred and sixty some pounds. We got him down to like three twenty. What was his name? Koji me uh, Koji Katao. And uh, he got out of sumo. He got in some trouble with the sumo people. He got out of sumo, and uh, he wanted to be a professional wrestler, so he contacted Lou. Lou sent him over here. I worked out with him, uh, lifted with him, wrestled with him, uh, ran on the beach with him, and um, like I say, three months. 
and he became a big card over there. Yeah. Um, and then he got into judo, and then I don't know how he did. I'm, did he get into mixed martial arts and all? Uh, I think he did a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, he might have. Uh, could, anybody who's listening could always check him out. What's his name again? Uh, Koji Katow. Koji Katow. Okay, cool. But um, he was he was a star over there, and uh, I trained him for three months. Um, but uh, the wrestling over there was so much more serious. Uh, yeah. It was a sport over there. Um, so you felt as though Lou made the, definitely made the right choice to have you go over there and wrestle. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah. That made my career, definitely. Now, what do you think about pro wrestling today? Oh, uh, pro wrestling today is horrible. I don't even watch it. I don't dignify it. I've got people coming here in my gym asking me all the time about different guys and different matches and all, and I don't have a clue what they're talking about. Yeah. Because I don't know the guys. Um, I don't know the angles. I don't care to. I don't have no respect for them. Yeah. Vince McMahon and his organization. I'm yeah. sorry. Did you ever wrestle for those guys? No. Probably Had an opportunity one time and didn't yeah. want to do it. Because um, yeah. Vin, Vince, um, I, I don't watch it much, but occasionally I'll, I'll turn it on. And there's a, there's just a couple guys that I've been impressed with. Vladimir uh, Kosilov, he was a national Sambo champion that Vince brought in. It's pretty. I think Vince is starting to see that he better start improving his quality of his wrestling. He's had some good athletes through the years. Yeah. Um, even the old man had some good athletes through the years. Yeah. But, um, like, Gorilla Monsoon was a great wrestler. Yeah. Um, Bruno Sammartino, uh, he was a powerhouse. He was yeah. a powerhouse. Yeah. Uh, so what can you take away from him? Baron Von Rasky, who I wrestled many times. Baron was a national champion. Yeah. Yeah. On Nebraska. Yeah. Um, so, so the WWF has had some great athletes, but... Um, I don't agree with Vince's, Vince Jr.'s, the way he did the business. He killed the business as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. He killed the territories. Yeah, the killing there's, the territories really There's hurt. no more territories for the young guys to go to. He killed all the competition, basically. He killed all the competition for what, you know? Yeah. And uh, his product sucks. Yeah. You know my opinion? I told you some, of the, some of the angles, even the, the mic work sucks. I was watching an angle uh, between... Um, Undertaker and and, yeah. and Shawn Michaels and it was just so stupid. Yeah, you know it was like uh, they didn't even know what they were saying in the ring. I mean, I, I always believe you, you know if you're going to cut a promo, make it quick and entertaining. You know, because people have a short attention span. And it, this promo I watched last Monday was just so dumb. I didn't even know where they were going with it. Um, Vince Jr. has ruined a close camar- camaraderie, I guess you could say. Yeah, with the boys, um, he's ruined it. Luke told me one time he's ruined uh, uh, everything. It took Lou fifty some years to build. Yeah, Did, so Lou it's didn't care. Lou didn't care for Vince. No, no, no whatsoever. I'm a, I'm gonna talk more about Lou Thez when we do our last portion of our interview in in, in a second.